Should I go come to the light thing? Okay, put the lights on, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, people are commenting. We're here, we just figured we'd scare you by turning the lights off. <laughs> oh, I couldn't help it. <laughs> do you have blow in the dark clothes on? No, Lisa, we couldn't find them. <laughs> Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to copy this Google Docs. I can do it right here. Yeah, I kind of know this. <laughs> okay, I already pasted that in there. All right, it's 159. Oh no, she loves my laugh. That scares me, that scares me. <laughs> Let there be light and sewing. Yep, oh, you people are so much fun. <laughs> oh, it's two o'clock, okay, I'm going. Hello everybody. Happy Friday the 13th. Today is Friday. Normally we're here on Thursday, as you know, but PSAG did not want to cooperate. There's 365 days in the year, 24 hours in a day, and the one stinking hour we needed, they decided to play games. I, we don't know what happened, but we were out all over. The neighborhood was out, the strip mall was out, Montauk Highway Light and Broadway was out. So something happened, but there were only like 14 people standing around looking at poles, doing nothing. So we couldn't figure out what was going on. They were but we're here today. So happy the Friday the 13th. I hope nobody is like scared of that day or has ill feelings for that day. Because to me, it's just another day. Actually, most of my luck has been pretty good on Friday the 13th. So, And we're doing very well today because we still have lights on. So we can't complain. Um, I want to ask, this is kind of a weird question, but we have a quite a few people that have come in looking for to make a quilt or make a reading pillow for an age group of like 11 year old girls so let's say 9 to 12 tweens we don't know what they're into we i i my my youngest is 34 so i'm way beyond and things have definitely changed since mine were that age so shoot us some comments about what you think that age group girls because boys are easy i hate to say it that way but they are easy um, are into we can't figure out what to direct people into or what you would think maybe your niece or grandchild or somebody that you've worked around or been around would be into so give us some suggestions please we would very much appreciate it we are going to be starting a new program in january for kimberbell you'll get more on it i just wanted to bring it up it's called fill in the blanks so every month there will be a new fill in the blank like a tote bag a um uh, Marie's holding up the sign. I forgot to say we're from Patchworks. I'm Debbie. We're from Patchworks, Sable, New York. No, 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 no. Did I get it out? Okay. <laughs> um, a new program. Okay. Uh, fill in the blank. So every month it'll be a different blank. It'll be a tote bag, a towel, an apron. Um, I'm just off the top of my head. Most of them will be um, new and they will not be introduced anywhere else. Like you'd only be able to get it if you do this program. With that, and they run anywhere between, I'm going to say, $8 
to 20, depending on what the item is. But with that, whether you do sewing or embroidery, because they'll be for both, you will get the embroidery design and the sewing design with that when you buy that blank. You will not get those designs if you don't buy the blank. So that's also something that will be limited to just this program. You'll get more on it. We'll send pictures in an email and all that. I just wanted to bring it up because I think it'll be a fun thing to do. It'll be um, something interesting, something, and it'll be limited to just this group, you know, just this program. Um, I said 11-year-old girls. And, okay, now I want to thank um, Marlo, who brought it to our attention, because we do do this every year. But I guess with everything that's going on, we, like, completely dropped the ball. So we do a food drive. If you could bring in something unopened, not perishable, and not outdated, please make sure the date is good. Um, we do a food drive every year, and we always collect an enormous amount of stuff because you guys are so generous. And then we bring it to the local food pantry in Sable. And with COVID and everything else that's gone on this year, and people out of jobs, out of work, they really could use the help. So thank you, Marlo, for smacking us upside the head and reminding us that we do this. We very much appreciate it. Uh, okay, now on a good news and a sad news. We do our um, Facebook Live every two weeks. We will not be here for the next one because we will be home, hopefully, eating turkey with a limited number of people because that's the rules now. Um, so it's Thanksgiving. But we will be here Friday and Saturday just like we are normally. And that will be our thank you, thank you, thank you weekend for all your support and all you do to help us. We will send an email out letting you know the sales, but they will be phenomenal. I guarantee you will be very happy. And what better thing to do than get up and walk around and talk to people and work off that turkey and that gravy and all that, what do they call that stuff that puts you to sleep? The tryptophan. The tryptophan. You know, come in Friday or Saturday, join us, have a conversation, and you will be surprised at the sales because that's our thank you. Thanksgiving, and then that's our thank you to you. Um... Okay, I'm going to do um, another game where you can guess the word. Uh, one winner per day. Like, you can only win it once because I know some of you are so quick. You get in there before everybody else. So, the first one today, and it's for the book from Jen Kingswell. The first one today is, and whoever comes up with the word first. Let me see if we need to get it closer. I'll come around. All right, it's just going up. Oh, yeah, come closer. Can you see? Okay, hold on. What is that word? Any guesses, anyone? Come on, come on. <laughs> That's good. Okay. If we don't get any guesses, I get to take the book home, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with further ado, Marie will... Oh, please look at the cute little fairy lights. <laughs> You're getting more over here. Yep. Okay. Any guesses yet? Oh, and I did post the um on the comment section where the I can't believe this comes out so long when I do this. I know. Any guesses yet? Lisa Klein. Oh, somebody got wait, 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 somebody got it backwards. Almost there. Okay, well, Debbie's looking to see who guessed it. Um, welcome to Patchworks. I'm Marie. That's Debbie. If you are taking the time to join us, thank you. If you're new, welcome. Uh, just a few housekeeping things. We are not a common sold store. What we do is post a Google document on the Facebook post page, which you'll find right below this video on our post page. When you click on that link, you'll see an order form that has all the items that I'm going to show you today. Um, at the top of that form is a a couple of spaces to fill out your name, your address, your contact information. Uh, you can choose delivery or pickup. Our delivery is... Um, Lisa Klein got it. Lisa Klein! Back Excellent! Stitch. Backstitch. Good job. Um, uh, our, we have a flat rate shipping fee of $9. Oh, $100 or more, uh, we pick up the shipping. However, on this order form, we do have a few items that are big, so additional shipping charges would apply. We would let you know before, if you just wanted to purchase it, we would call you and let you know this is how much it would cost to ship it to you so you could make a decision then. But um, 
Once you fill out that order form, you go all the way down to the bottom of the page. There's a button that says submit. Uh, we get your order. When your order is ready, we give you a call to come pick it up. If you do pick it up in the store, you get a free fat quarter. Um, if, if it's for delivery, we'll call you, get your payment information, and then ship it out to you. We do send everything um, USPS. So um, that is the way we do that. So if there's any questions, just send Debbie a little comment there and I'll, and I'll answer them. So with that being said, let me show you. Come on, I need some suggestions for girls. Uh, we're really, we're really stumped on the tween stuff. So if you guys have any ideas, we'd appreciate it. Um, so without further ado, let me show you our first item. We got in this adorable collection. It's from P&B Textiles. Uh, it's Little Darlings Woodland Friends. We, we had in the first Little Darlings, which was so cute. And then this one came in. This is, um, it's a panel, two coordinates. We made this quilt out of it. This is uh, the blue quilt on the order form. You'll see it labeled as blue. It is, let's see, check my notes. Can I read the book, do you know? No. What book? The book that Lisa Klein just won. Oh. Yes, you put it down here somewhere. Well, I can't find it. Don't worry, Lisa. We'll find it. She wants to see a close-up of the it's cover. It's over there. It's underneath oh, your okay. notes. Okay, Lisa, let me tell me okay. tell me if you can see this. Oh, you should because I could see it. Can you see it? I love her stuff. Jen Kingwell. Yeah, she's Ooh, great. We have something from her today in our notions section, too. I love her stuff. Okay. It. Okay, so the kit, which includes the fabric for the top, the panel, the sashings, the inner border and outer border, um, and the directions is $47. We have it available in this kind of little boy colorway. We also have it available in this colorway uh, with the panel. These would be your sashings right here. This is the little inner border and this is the outer border again. So on the order form, it's down as pink or blue. And I'd just like to show you all the panel. So, Deb, let me know if they can get this all in the... Yeah, this... I, can't, I can't tell you that. You can't you, tell? I like okay. the delay because you can't see right, what this... Right, all right. When they got to come up on... with a better way to show hold the phones. So, here's the panel. That looks pretty good from here. Okay. It's adorable. It has foxes and a sloth, a panda. I think it has two hedgehogs on it and two... Um, two pandas. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Because we're on the delay, so. They're so cute. Now, the, the um, quilt that we did, we only used... Uh, nine. Nine of them. Is there there's enough in the kit to do the whole? Yeah, there's enough yeah. in the kit to do 12 if they yeah. want to do 12. If you want to do all 12, because you get 12 of these in here, if you want to do all 12, you certainly could. We just we just did nine. Um, th they're just adorable. So that, that is the panel. It is twelve eighty just for the panel, see if you're interested. And then the coordinate, this is the spots, also twelve eighty a yard. Oh, I went to, okay, I turned the camera around. Okay. Oh, are we backwards? Yep. Oops. You're seeing, you're seeing the wrong things. <laughs> there we go. I tried to make it so that they could get okay. closer, but see, I can't play with it. Okay. So this, these are the spots. <laughs> they got too close. <laughs> oh, and this is an all over print with the baby animals. Just so Check cute. Here we go. How's this look? Got a little fawn and a hedgehog. Where there's a sloth here. Kinda. Monica, she showed the pink, the um, pinks that we picked up. Does she want to see? She want to see again? I'll Do show you want to see it again? She'll show it again. Okay. Let me show you again. Yeah, the girl, the girl kid is cute. The girl kid's cute, yeah. Here is the kit. It would be, of course, Pinks the panel. Greens. Pinks and greens. These are for the sashings around the block. That's your little inner border. That's your outer border. All right? How's that look on there? You get a good shot good. of now it? You got, okay. okay. Now it's good. Okay. So this is the pink kit. And the one on the wall is the blue kit. So it's $47. You get the directions the fabric for the top, and the panel. Okay, so that is it. And one more time with this. So cute. The panel for these little guys. The owl, there's a, there's a wolf cub, 
and a fox cub. I think they're called cubs, right? So cute. Okay. So that's Little Darlings Woodland Friends. Twelve eighty a yard. Twelve eighty for the panel. It's a full yard. The panel. Okay. All right. So now, let me make a quick change here because I didn't have enough room. So I'm going to take this down so you can see what's behind it. Okay. Ta-da! Okay. So now we have a few other things oh, to show you. These items are machine embroidery. Okay, so don't don't go anywhere. It's going over. Okay, let's try that. Okay, I'll hold them up. Okay. Stay. This is why it takes me so long to get set up. Stay. Stay. Okay. All right. So here on the wall. We showed you this pattern last time. This is a Janine Babbage uh, machine embroidery. It's not. Drop the pillows. You can't see you it. Can't you see can't it. see the blue one. Oh, after I got them to stand up? Okay. Okay. So this is Oh Holy Night by Janine Babbage. This is the embroidery CD. Okay. Let's see how that shows. Okay. All right. It is, it's not an in-the-hoop project because you have to do the sewing. It's kind of put together like a tile scene. Um, and we did it in the, a red and green colorway, and we did it in this blue and silver colorway. Threads on it are extra. Um, the CD is $20, and we do have fabric kits for it. They're $24. Let me show you. You have to see this background quilting on this. Let me see if I can get this close up. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see it. The background, the machine embroidery background quilting. Yeah, it, it, the silver. Can you see that? She's talking about like right here. Behind the, the letters. Is exquisite. It's beautiful. So this is the um again, we have kits, we have fabric kits for these. The embroidery CD is 20. The fabric kits are $20, uh, $24. Okay, and we have it in the blue and silver and the red and green. Okay, let's see. Great system here. Okay. okay. So that's Oh Holy Night by Janine Babbage. Okay. Then we have, let's see, we have, um, these are from Smith Street Designs. You may have seen them. This one, this is called Elf Express. Now, I'm going to show you the cover to this, but we obviously did it way different. Elf Express is an embroidery CD. It sells for, um, was it, 20, $24? $24. This is the cover. Back it up a little bit. Uh, back it up? Okay. Right there, right there, All right. Sorry. So this is from Smith Street Designs. This is the Elf Express. What we did, obviously, was not this colorway, um, but we did it in black, white, and red. And it's really adorable. You can do this in, like, the five and a half by seven inch hoop. Uh, on, on a machine, a uh, 7.9 hoop, like the, the, the small, the hoop on the uh, 350E Janome, um, or a 6x10 hoop, this will fit. You have a bigger hoop, you have no problem. Uh, the way that she does it is she provides a start and stop point between each section that lets you, uh, you have to re-hoop, but it's really easy re-hooping. And in fact, it's these letters here, you get the whole alphabet of these letters. So you could do something where you make your own choice. Where'd it go? It should be over there. Oh, here we go. So for instance, if you have a kid who loves trains, you can make something like this out of it and use the lettering to put their name on there. So it's not just for Christmas. Um, yeah. You would leave off the Christmas trees. You just skip those. <laughs> 
but this this is another idea that you can do with this it's cute it's really cute so that is the smith street design the elf express right here then the next uh, machine embroidery that we have is called a very very christmas this one here this is a machine applique in the hoop it's another smith street design these designs were actually done when the biggest hoop i had was of the um the 5.5 by 7.9 hoop on the genome so yes you had to re-hoop to do it but if you have an eight inch hoop you can do these in one one uh, one hooping the whole thing um this is it also and i'm going to show you the cover and again don't you know don't judge a cd by the cover but um she also has larger designs as well for i believe they're 11 inch blocks so if you have the bigger hoop that's something else that you can do so this is the cover of a very very christmas this is the size of the one that's up on the wall and this is her larger version it's kind of like a it's a little different take on Christmas, but these designs are also these designs are also available in the larger size, and she also has this, which is right here. Now I did this as a little table topper, but you could certainly make it into a. And she gives you the instructions. You could do a little tree skirt out of it too, but this was also done in the smaller hoop. These fit in one hooping there and the uh, pattern includes the um, the directions and the template and everything to do these little petals so this is another uh, project that you can do from Smith Street Designs a very very Christmas and that is um, gosh I'm having a hard time that that one's a little more oh that one is 30 this is $36 a very very Christmas right multi-formatted CD it comes with the directions printed out. So it's not like you just get a CD and then you have to print out all the directions. The directions come printed out with this. Same thing with the Elf Express. Smith Street Designs has everything in the package for you. So that is, that is uh, the very, very Christmas right here. And just think, I mean, these will look great on pillows. This, these are very pretty. They really, it's really nice. And this was just done with uh, red and green. Real simple. It looks like velvet because the green, the colors on the, the white. The colors it really on makes there, it look yeah. Velvety. Yeah. Well, we use batiks too, so you know that makes a difference. Okay. Did you know if the three fifty E has a eight inch hoop for it? It does no, not. The three fifty E no. Is the doesn't. five by seven or five point the something by seven point, point five seven by seven point nine is the biggest hoop, hoop. Is the biggest one on that? But that's that's what I did these on. Yeah, we do ninety percent of our stuff in the five by seven hoop. Ninety percent. Well. Of it. 5.5 by 7.9. Yeah. It's a little bigger. Um, I did this one in it. I did this one in it. So you could definitely do these patterns with that. And they're fast because they're not, this isn't stitching. This is fabric. She does a really nice job digitizing. Okay. I have another Janine Babbage. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We just got this one in. Never tried it again. So we haven't had time to do it yet. Uh, this is $16. This is the same size as a Grateful Heart, the one that we did with the pumpkin and everything. Yeah, it goes on a 12-inch hanger. It goes on a 12-inch hanger, yeah. So that is also available. And I also have on the order form, um, it's coming. It hasn't come in yet. Um, it's another Janine Babbage that it's a little, it's um, all hearts come home for Christmas. Very cute. That That's should, a little one like the um, bubbles. It's, it's a little one like the, the soap time one. Uh, there's two sizes for the wall hanging. They're not big. They're smaller. And there's another third design in there if you want to put on a towel or something like that. It's, it's a bigger design. So that is coming. Um, should be here. They're on their way, right? Yes, they should yeah. be here. Uh, actually, they should be delivered on my door tomorrow. Okay. And those are $16. Yes. Those are $16. They're on the order form. But what, we should have those here next week. Um, okay, so let's see. All right, now for you sewing, you quilting people, this is, can I see Norman in that? Yes. All right, this is uh, the Elizabeth Hartman uh, pattern, Norm and Nanette. Um, she is, this is all pieced. 
Um, I do love her patterns. Some people are a little intimidated by them, but, but honestly, if you just, you cut and you label everything, and then when you sit down and sew, it's amazing how everything fits together. So this is, um, I got reds all over. Um, <laughs> this is Norman Nanette. This is the smaller pattern. This is the pattern from Elizabeth Hartman is this one, all these gnomes, it's $24 for this, but what you're making is the small quilt size right here. Um, and we did put a kit together for this, for the top. And that is um, somewhere here. Figured it out, but go ahead and tell me what it was. I'll, I'll, I'll find out what it is, but we do have a little kit. I think it's like $35 for the fabric kit for the top. Um, it's just, it's cute. I made these guys and then I used the um, leftover fabrics to do a piece binding around it. Um, it's just, it's just a fun little quilt. So it's, for me, this is uh, like maybe Mr. and Mrs. Claus, you know, green and red, but that's Norman and that. See, she says the girls are into video games, Stacy. Says the girls are into video games, just yeah, like the are. boys. Yeah. Animals would work, and the black and white fabric line that Caitlin just got some is good too. Oh, okay. That's the. Uh, oh, oh, the tulip pink. Yeah. Tulip pink. Oh, thank you, thank thanks, you, thank Stacey. you, Stacy. Okay. All right. So, let me show you these guys. We've had a lot of people ask me about these. Yeah, we had we had the preview garage sale again. Yes, today. we did. <laughs> we did. Okay. So. Here is a new embroidery from Amelia, I want to say it right, Amelia Scott Designs. It's called Three Pillows with Santa. Um, the pattern, the CD, it's not a CD. It's $25 for this. What you get is a um, code in the envelope. Open it up. Is that ours? No, this Open is ours. Store okay. So she don't, you don't get them with a CD. It is, it is machine embroidery. It's a new way of doing things it's now so right. that they don't have to do a CD or USB. Right, you, don't or, have, right. you pay the same amount of money. Hint, 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 hint. <laughs> yeah. It's $25. And when you open it up, it gives you uh, the yardage and everything. And what you have here is a code that you go online. You, she tells you right here the instructions where to go. You go to Amelie Scott. Uh, dot com. It's not designs. Uh, Amelie Scott, and you register there as a. You get yourself an account, and then you have a serial number down here that you put in. And when you do that, you get a download for your computer with all the designs and all the instructions and everything. So, um, yes, we will help you guys do it because I know some folks are a little intimidated by it. But, um, okay. <laughs> Gotta resist. Okay. Uh, so this is how Amelie Scott does her pattern. So this is her newest one. This is Three Pillows with Santa. And these are the pillows. We have, let's see. This is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. This is I Believe. They are 18-inch pillows. Of course, you can do them whatever size you want. And this is called Waiting for Santa. So she has three different size Santas in here. The small, medium, and this is large right here. And the instructions show you how to piece it and put everything together. Okay, but what I'm going to show you, what? The words are with the Santa. Is that all one embroidery? Yes, that's all one. Santa. So they, I'm just trying to figure out. That would fit in a 5 by 7 hoop, the words, I believe. I'm going to go see. Because I want to see if they can split it and use the words to do a smaller pillow. Okay. And she's off. While she's off, let me show you this. <laughs> this is... The, I want to show you this technique that she has. Now, we got in touch with her. Uh, her name is Christine Connor, uh, Connors of Amelie Scott Designs. And is it, are you... Oh, it'll fit. It'll so if you have a 5 by 7 hoop, we can... Are you uh, sure that Use a smaller Santa... And you, you get the words in the 5x7 hoop. You can do it separately. I'll teach you how to do it if you need to know how to do it. Okay. Um, well, I like that everybody could do everything. That's what I, I hate yes. when they, they limit people. So what I want to show you is she has a YouTube <laughs> channel. 
And what she came up with, we, we called her and, well, we emailed and asked permission to do this, uh, to show you how to do a hidden zipper on the back of your pillow form. And it's really something that you can, it, this is wonderful. This is, this is so easy. There is no agony with zippers or anything on this. So she shows you how to do it on an 18 inch form. You see here, I did it on the back of these with the con contrasting fabric. So that was part of the design. On the back of this one, I just did it with the same fabric. And what's really, really nice about it is you don't have to worry about what color that zipper is because you're not gonna see it. So on our order form, we have these 22, you start with a bigger zipper, like these are 18 inch pillows, you're gonna use like a 22 inch zipper. So we have on the order form, these are 22 inch zippers, they're $2 each. They'll work with any fabric that you have because you cover them. So let me show you how the basic steps on this. Oops, let me move this, I gotta show you guys this too. Okay. Always making room here. Okay. All righty. So it's really simple. So again, if you go to YouTube to uh, Amelie Scott tutorials, you'll see this uh, video that she does on how to add a zipper to a pillow back the easy way. And it really, really is. All right, Deb, can they see? Um, I want to show them this down here. Three, oh, six. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm coming so, close. Close your eyes, guys. Okay. Well, I move into position I know here. She's moving into okay. position. Okay. I just don't want everybody to get seasick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the directions that she has are for a, an 18 inch pillow. So what she has you do first is for the pillow back, you're going to cut the top part six and a half inches by 18 and, a half, 18 and a half. And then the bottom part of the pillow, you're cutting 12 and a half inches by 18 and a half. The ratio is the top part, if you're making a different size pillow, the top part is about a third of the overall pill, pillow lengths. Okay, so just as a for instance. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your 22 inch zipper and you're going to lay it down, right side down, on top of the larger piece. You're going to just match your little ends up there. And what I would do is pin these down because it does tend to be a little slippery. And then you're gonna stitch it down with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now you can just open this up so that it's not in the way, like that, okay? I use my quarter inch foot. If you have a zipper foot, if you're more comfortable doing that, use your zipper foot. But all you're gonna do is put your foot on there and stitch it right down, going that way, like that. Once you do that, you're gonna open it up and just press it. Okay, so that's step one. The next step is going to be adding this piece. Yeah, I have it here, okay. The next step is to add this little flap that ends up covering the zipper to the zipper tape. So what you're gonna do is just close the zipper up. This, this little flap, I forgot to tell you, I'm sorry. This little flap is two and a half inches wide by the width. You're gonna fold it in half and iron it. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stitch that down on there, like so. What I recommend doing is using this Wonder Tape, which is also on the order form. This is $5. Wonder Tape, and maybe if you guys have taken classes, way back when we had classes, I might have showed you how to use this to put a zipper in. So Wonder Tape has like a, it's sticky here. It's double-sided tape. It's sticky here, and this top is a um, little plastic covering. You're just going to place it down on your zipper tape like this going down the whole thing right at the edge. All the way to the end, okay? 
and you're gonna snip it off okay. and then make sure that you just it's not sticky yet because I still have the covering on it and then what you're gonna do is release it and because everyone's watching I'm not gonna be able to do that okay okay so you release it you pull this off to expose the sticky side okay can you all see that then what you're gonna do and I found it easier to unzip this is you're gonna take this piece which you folded in half pressed and you're just going to wrong sides together wrong side right yeah. wrong sides together yes you press it wrong sides together did I need to say that I'm sorry, yes. I'm sorry. I shouldn't assume things and you're gonna stick that down right that sticking to me stick it down right on top of that tape now that tape is going to hold the bottom layer in place but the top layer could still move around so I do recommend that once you have it stuck down in place that you just pin a little so that as you're sewing as you're going down sewing it doesn't slip and slide on you you're going to go back to your sewing machine and with your quarter inch foot or your zipper foot you're going to stitch down the whole thing a quarter of an inch away so that brings you to let's see where am I okay so that brings you to this where you have it all in place under here so then the next thing you're gonna do is take the top piece and put it on here and guys don't don't skimp on the pinning because you're, you're stitching on top of a, a zipper and two layers here and a layer here pin this is this is not time to show your sewing chops and not do pinning. You really want to pin here. You're gonna go down the whole thing, pin it in place, and once again stitch along that quarter inch. So that when you get to here, once you do that, you're gonna open it up, press like so, and then the very last thing you're gonna do is at each end, say within the within the quarter inch seam allowance so an eighth of an inch away you're going to stitch here to hold this down and then you're going to stitch here to hold it down and then you can cut off the excess zipper tape and you have your back ready to go on your zipper it's really a great technique and again it doesn't really matter what color zipper you're using because you're not gonna see it you're not gonna see it it really works great I love this so again you can the the cutting directions are four and eight 18 inch pillow but I, it seems to be that the ratio is you cut this top part one-third of the overall size of the pillow back and that'll work um, but I would stick to the two and a half inches here to be sure to cover the zipper um, so the other one more thing that she shows you, I don't know if you could tell, like the, these are just regular binding. She also has a video on there, uh, Christine Connors on Amelie Scott tutorials on YouTube of a faux cording. This is binding, but what she shows you is how to put batting inside to make it look like cording, like little chunky fat binding going on just for a little added look to it. So this is, it's two really good videos. So it's a Manly Scott tutorials on YouTube. By, and it's Christine Connor is the, um, the proprietor. She's the owner. She's the brains behind. These the genius. Cute little, the genius behind <laughs> these cute little designs and this technique. And these are the uh, three pillow, three three pillows with Santa yeah and it's $25 and again it's a download you you get a number that you input put in on her website you download the uh, embroidery designs it's multi formatted and it has all the instructions on how to make these little pillows and and I wouldn't stick to just putting these on pillows these will look adorable on towels they're, they're a little bit it's a uh, machine embroidery it's a uh, applique here and it's applique here and okay full confession <laughs> on this one 
I stopped the machine because this is all uh, done in one. The, the Santa face, the hat trim, and this is all done out of one fabric. But I really want to do my puff on the Santa hat here. This is like the last thing that gets stitched out when it's doing this outline stitching. So I just stopped the machine and changed my thread because I put silver here. And Debbie did, what'd you do? You did fleece. Little, you did fleece. I put fleece in so it looks like a puff. Can you see it's like see, puffy? Debbie put fleece on hers on this one. So, you know, because this, this is the very last thing that gets the outline stitching on it. So just watch it. Stop it there. Change your thread or if you have to. And you could do that. Okay, I'm moving back. Okay. Everybody close your She's eyes. She's moving back. Okay. Now I'm just dropping things all over the place. All right. Okay. So does anyone have any questions on that? That's our Christmas project. So let me just go over. Oh, should we do another contest now? Yeah, do the contest so that okay. I can watch while we um, okay. wait for the winner. All right, let me get this. All right, this is for, okay, we have another cute um, machine applique from Bigport Bay Cotton Company. This is, um, <laughs> it's Dancing Chickens. <laughs> Grace says we need a Hollywood studio. <laughs> We're gonna, we're, Grace. We're gonna put stars in the in the um, sidewalk outside the store with our names in them. Yeah. You know they do like at, at the uh, Grubbins Theater and all that. We're gonna do that because everybody keeps telling us we're the stars of the show. Um, okay. Can you use clips instead of pins? Putting the invisible zipper in. It's not. Um, I my pins work. The wasn't enough for the clips to really hold tight. Tight. I was more comfortable using pins in this okay. case. And believe me, I use my Wonder Clips for everything, but in this case, I, the pins were better. Okay. Um, all right, ready? So we're going for this one. All right, Deb, you got your eyes on the comments? Go ahead, Maureen. All right, here we go. What is this word? I know you told me, and I don't remember. I'm not telling you again. You're not telling me again. I'm not telling you again. Okay, let me get there. Oh, I remember. Okay. So this is it. This prize... Oh, hi, Kathy Phoebe. You're up with your sister. I hope the trip was easy. Quick. Hey, Kathy. Okay. How are we doing? Hi, Susan. Arlene, you love everything. You're just like Diane. You love everything. Okay. Another second to see. And then while you all are thinking about it. Anyone? Not yet. Not yet? Nope. Come on, guys. Okay, I'm going to put it down. Okay, we'll revisit that. Okay. This is an easy one. Come on. <laughs> now the pressure's on. It's probably easy because I know the answer. Well, yeah, <laughs> you think? Okay. All right, guys. While you're pondering that, let me show you a couple. These are just some cute notes. Oh, first thing. Look, we got pixie lights in colors. Here we go. These are a little string of pixie lights and colors. That's off. That's on rapidly blinking really fast. Then there's a slow blink and then there's a steady on. So these are colored pixie lights. You get two in a package for $10. And anyway, that's going to do Kimberbell. These are what they're going to use when they do the uh, 4th of July. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it? Okay. They're, doing the, they're doing the colored lights this time. Yeah. So these are, these are new. We just got these in. And if you're still in need of, we have, do we have a link? J.D. Bear, yeah, J.D. Bear. You got it. All right. She got it. And the answer is whole cloth. Yes. Good job. Good job. Okay. Um, if you guys, if we did get in the tea lights again, they're not on the order form, but you could just put it in the comments section. There's four of them for $5. And we did get in more pixie lights. You get three for $12. Regular pixie lights, not the colored ones. The colored ones, you get two for $10. So those are, and they're nice and bright. When we had the lights off, these were really bright. Oh, I love all the hearts, everybody. I love the hearts. Thank you. Uh, this is, okay, this is a thread stand. 
um, from Superior Threads. It is $15.99. It's a telescoping thread stand, so you know your threads here, you can move this up and down as you want. You feed your thread through there. If you're a machine embroiderer, or even if you're doing uh, uh, fancy stitching on your regular sewing machine and you're working with a metallic thread especially, they usually need a longer run just to get the kinks out. So um, I have done machine embroidery with gold metallic thread. As long as I put my thread on a stand and if my machine's here, I have my stand like over here so that there's a longer run for that thread to like relax and go through the machine. So the Superior Adjustable Thread Stand, it is $15.99 for that. All right, this is a cute little project. This is called, you guys may have seen this, this is called the Wingman. It's from uh, Fat Quarter Gypsy Wingman. It makes this really cute little stand to put on your sewing machine or if we ever have on classes. On the couch, like on the, right. sit on the edge of the couch. Handle. Right, if you're sitting, sitting in a comfortable chair doing your hand sewing, this is stuff so for your needles. You got little pockets here. This is good for your threads and your snips in here. It's a pop-up, so it goes down like that. Um, it has different little elastics here and buttons for you to put your threads on so that, you know, they don't go rolling across the floor. Does your cat go after spools of thread? Of course he does. Yeah. All right. So this is called the Wingman, and, and it, look, it comes with this cute little, you can actually put a little label in there. Pin cushion and pockets. It's $10 for the pattern. Okay. And does it come with a pop-up in it? It does. It, yeah. Okay. No, the, the pop-ups are separate. The pop-ups are separate. Yes. Okay. So this is the pattern. And this is the pop-up that you need to make it. It's eight ninety nine. You can do it in two different sizes. I made the larger of the two sizes. Okay. Which uses this size pop-up. Yep. Okay. And then there's a mini, but I figured if you're doing it, you might okay. as well go big. And you see you have the elastic in here. You have the little tabs in here and everything. So uh, $10 for the pattern, $8.99 for the pop-up. You get one or two in here? One. one. Okay. So that is the wingman and pop-up. All right. I said I wanted to show you. Oh, we have something from Jen. This is from Jen Kingwell. It is a block wrap. Okay. This is $31.50. This is really great. Jen Kingwell block wrap. When you open this up, it's a really, really great idea. It's kind of like a portable design wall. You open it up like this. And in each flap, you can place, if you're working on a block, if you have, you know, trying to lay things out, figure things out, you can place your blocks in here, and it will also keep them nice and neat in each one. You have a place for one, two, three, four, five. It's like a felt finish, right, that it holds the well, block it's, down? Well, it's not felt. It's like a kind of a tyvek sort of... Grippy it, kind it holds of piece. onto the block. Yeah, it holds on to the block. Great for Tuesday Club, ladies. Oh, yeah, for your Tuesday Club blocks. So what you can do is as you work on the blocks, you can just put them in here. And when you're ready to move on, you just roll them up like this and tie them. And you can keep them, like if you go into a class or a group or something like that, they'll keep it all in one place. For you. So this is Jen Kingwell Designs. Uh, Jen Kingwell, we all know who Jen Kingwell is. Block wrap. Lisa does. Lisa does, yes. <laughs> all right, so that is, that's her block wrap. Then, uh, this is, okay, this is, this is a silicone iron rest, $5.99. Um, if you have a husband like mine who doesn't understand that you need to stand the iron up on the end when he, I shouldn't complain, he's ironing his shirts, but he just puts the <laughs> iron down and I stand there like, <laughs> and he, you know, he, so I have, I, I replace my ironing board covers a lot. Yeah, um, so if you give him this and say, just put the iron on that, hon, 
you know, it won't be burning the, the ironing pad so much. So this is $5.99. It's a silicone iron rest. All right. It's just safety. It's safety. Okay. Um, I know we have shown you these things before. These are $10.30. They're quick turn tube. Uh, quick turn for uh, tubes. It's just simple, fast, easy. It's just a nice notion to have around. Uh, three different sizes. And also for you, well, actually not just for embroidery machines, I right? Like you have them in your regular sewing machine. These are Magic Bob and Genies. They are little... Remember the things you used to lick and put on your Oh, like reinforcements, pages? yeah. Okay, then <laughs> that's you don't lick like. them. You don't lick them. No, they're like plasticky instead right. of that, but that's you, what they look like. You put them in your bobbin case or you drop them into your bobbin case. And what they do is they kind of, some machines, when they, when they go so fast, when they cut the thread or stop sewing, there's like a backlash. These cushion that backlash and prevent like tangles or you're losing your bobbin thread or something like that. Um, they're called Magic Bobbin Genies. The blue one is for the top drop-in bobbins. The green ones are for the ones that have the uh, bobbin case that goes in. So I have you them get both my machines. You have them both your machines. Yeah. They're ten ninety-five. You get twelve of them. They're they're just like you know if you like to really press the pedal to the metal when you're sewing, these these will help prevent you know any tangles or anything like that. So Magic Bobbin Genies. Uh, this is, oh, let me show you this. Where did it go? We have a lighted, okay. Oh, this is very cool for this all is, those this blind is very people. Cool. Okay. This is, I took it out. So this is an empty package, but this is a needle threader that lights up with a rechargeable battery. So what you do is it comes with a little charger. Little charger goes right in there. You can Put it in your computer and your USB port to um, to charge the battery. It even comes with a little piece of Velcro that you can Velcro the little charger to this so that you don't lose it. And you take this off. This, let's see if I can see it. Clip that on. Can they see? Can you see it? It has the I can't little see needle I can't See the um, wait till it comes on the um. This machine. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna hold it up here. So it's a lighted needle threader. You see, it has oh, the little it. thing. Has the little uh, wire I can that see you it. stick I through. I can see it on the thing. I'm hoping they can, can you see, see it. it. It's uh, 50 lumens. It says. I don't really. All I know is it's pretty. It's pretty bright to help you thread that needle. And that is eleven ninety five. When you're done, and you turn it off. It has a protective case for that because you know those little things are usually pretty. Or since it's rechargeable, delicate. you could leave the light on so you could always find it. <laughs> oh, when the lights go out in the store and you're holding this in the hand, you know. Then when those lights went out yesterday, I was at the front of the store and I had to feel my way back here. It gets really dark. Um, it was really scary actually yesterday. So that that is the needle threader. It's eleven ninety five, and you get the little lighted needle threader. You get the little charging cable, and you get this little piece of uh, Velcro to keep it all together. So that that's a handy thing to have. It's a good stocking stuffer, Joe. It is a good stocking stuffer. Yeah. Okay. And I did show you guys when um, I showed you the wonder tape, the double sided tape, when I was showing you the pillows. This is peel and stick ruler tape, $3.99. We have it, if you've been in our store, we have it on our tables in the back. We, we put the tape down. It just sometimes you need to make like a real quick measurement on something. So, you know, if you're guesstimating or something like that. So this is a, a ruler tape. It's $3.99. It's just one of those things that are handy. Again, a good stocking stuffer. Right. And last week we were, to oh, last week, two weeks ago, we were talking about friction pens and marking and everything. So I'm sure you all are familiar with these. It's the Choco Liner. Um, this is the original Choco Liner. It has a very fine wheel in it that uh, dispenses chalk uh, as you draw along. 
Um, I like this. It's not permanent. I mean, you're only going to mark, say, if you're doing cross, cross hatch quilting like on the Norman Man mat, and you're just going to do a couple of lines at a time. You know, that's that's when I use it because I know it's not going to stain. It's not going to, I don't have to worry about spraying it away or anything like that. It's not going to come back and haunt me. Um, so that's the Chaka liner. This is $7.35. You get refills for this for $4.75. The little bottom unscrews and you just fill it up. Only use the white. Only use the white. Yes. We, you know, it, the chalk is available in pink, blue, yellow. yellow. We have found whatever they put in there to make the color doesn't go away. So use the white. You don't have any problems with the white. They also have the same idea available in a pen style. Um, if you're more comfortable doing that, it's the same idea. This is where the chalk is. This is 950 for the pen style. The refill on this is a little different. You can't just use that refill. The refill uh, is actually a new cartridge down here, but I have that on the order form as well. So those are two, um, these, these are both, these, these are good marking tools. They're not, um, you don't want to mark a whole quilt up and then go back because it won't stay there. But for temporary marking, if you're doing, if you're stitching right away, that works great. Okay. Right. And the Diane, it does disappear on the dark fabric. If you take the same piece of fabric that you marked on it and rub that on the line, it does take it away. Yeah. What, she's having... Or, or take an old t-shirt and use the t-shirt. The, the same fabric that you marked it on, you use that, it takes it away. It takes away. It comes right off. I've never had a problem with this staining anything. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you guys, kept you for a while. Last thing I want to show you guys is this rotary mat set. This is from Off the Wall Quilts. Um, it's a set that has two... Two, ro two rotating rotary mats with it. Um, it's $80 for the set. There is this little one, which is about six and a half inches. And what we like about it is that one side has these markings. The other side, which you can also cut on, does not have markings. Because sometimes, you know, we don't like all those extra lines underneath our ruler and stuff. Um, it comes with a, a little acrylic piece for additional stabilizing. These tabs are just to make turning easier. And it's on this little rotating base. So this is this little one comes in the set along with this is a big 18 inch one. Same idea, only bigger. It's um, got the blue lines marked on this side. The other side is, it's heavy. The other side is just pink, so no lines for distraction. It comes with this acrylic base just for stabilizing, and it sits on top of this rotary base. So um, these two pieces come together in one set for $80. And um, these are, if we ship these, these would be an additional shipping charge. But uh, as I said, we would always let you know how much that would be. So um, this is, again, this is uh, off-the-wall rotary mat set for $80. So that is, I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. Pretty sure. Is it rubber? Is it rubber? It's, it's like, a, like a regular it's mat. It's like a regular cutting mat. Let me, I'll bring it up closer to you. It's like a regular cutting mat. The side is blue and has lines on it. This side is also for cutting, but it's no lines, right? And it just sits on, sits on this little acrylic piece on top of this, like so. It's so cute. The little one is so cute. The little one's cute. Yeah, cute little things. Um, so that is it, I think. Does, does anyone have any other questions? Anything? We're good? We're good. All right, so thank you guys for coming back after yesterday really appreciate it and um again if we don't see you before thanksgiving have a happy healthy thanksgiving with our socially distant i know crazy rules going on but uh enjoy so thank you again everyone have a great day we'll send an email um lisa klein and jd bar Bear. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, comments at patchworks.com. Send us an email with your address.
Oh, yes. So that yes. we can get you your prizes. Yes. Janie and Are you Lisa? laughing at us, Carol? I know you crack up every time I speak. Okay. But, you know, that yeah. scares me. Email us at comments at patrick's.com. And don't forget, guys, if you need fabrics, you can. we have the Tulip Pink. They're really going fast. But you can still order them on our website at patchworks.com. All right. Okay? Good? Good. Good. All right, everyone. Thanks again. Have a great day. Oh, the next one. Um, the next one, Susan, will be the week after Thanksgiving, the Thursday after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't know so the date. It's I like apologize. the first Thursday in December, right? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. But we'll, we'll know. send out an email and stuff. Happy okay. Thanksgiving, Arlene. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Diane. Carol, she cracks me up. <laughs>